Hi guys, welcome to this tutorial. In this tutorial we're gonna go over the DB Visualizer. This is the most common tool I use on my day-to-day -day work. And I'm gonna walk you through how we can use variables at the command line, at the, command, at the prompt line, where you, at using the GUI. This is a very useful um, technique when you, work, when you have a lot of schemas or you have a lot of scripts and you don't want to type schema names or table names or you can use variables to walk you through. So you, you can see in this case, uh, if you use it with the dollar in front, like you use it in, in Oracle, DB Visualizer will uh, throw you an error because he doesn't know how to in interpret the dollar sign before the variable. What we can do to fix that, uh, just go to Tools, uh, Properties, and at the Variables uh, tab, here there's an identifier prefix and you can choose the, the prefix and suffix uh, identifiers you can choose your preferred one as you can see here i have it set up as, as a dollar sign you just apply now and okay and next what you're going to do and add the the suffix of it and run you run the run the script this is just a simple script just to prove the 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 use of the variable oh there you go we have another error missing the last step yeah this is this is another step that we need to do we need to enable parameters of the GUI all right so now you're gonna get a pop-up and it's gonna ask you what value you want to give to that variable right now it's a null variable it's a null value and you can type anything in it and you will uh, Right now, basically, we'll do an echo because I'm 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 reading something from the dual dual. It's an uh, internal table. So the outcome is going to be whatever I wrote in that. Now, let's go over some more complex scripts. Let's say in this script where I managed to. Uh, how to say I compare this the uh, I compare the rows in uh, in two schemas and their tables based on their order by the tables. So you can see here I can give a schema one and schema two and then the script will do all the rest. This is really useful when you're trying to uh, generate scripts, you know, and this with this add parameters, and it really helps me during the my working days instead of me editing all those scripts guys i hope you enjoyed it uh, like and subscribe and soon i'll come up with more videos about vertica database